Greetings, folks. I'm here to talk to you about being Republicans. In case you don't know who you are and where you're from, you know, we just had Black History Month where all white folks supposed to be guilty of something they didn't do. <laughs> and black folks angry about something they didn't suffer through. So my organization, Lethal Plantation, is designated in March as Black Future Month. <laughs> but I want to... I want to stress today the Republican Party, who you are. I'm traveling this country now to Republican groups all over this country, explaining to you who you are. Some of you may have gone to public schools and don't know your history. So we're going to discuss who you are so you can explain to people. Never in the history of mankind did brothers fight each other to free strangers. Civil war was fought against families for power and money and control. And, and the, the American Civil War was when brothers went south to fight their own brothers to free them for moral reasons. You have never seen a civil war like that in your history. You've never seen in world history a civil war where brothers fought brothers, not for power, not for land, but for a moral issue. That's who you are. That's how you founded yourself. So we discussed tonight about the issues facing us today. We need that same moral stand that's going to free this nation. You stood up and said something. You know, the Underground Railroad was founded by the Western Church and the Quaker Church. A Christian movement began. And then Democrats took power of this country. They, they took control of the Senate and the House and the presidency. And they passed a Fugitive Slave Act. The Fugitive Slave Act allowed the master to travel to anywhere his slave was and capture him and bring him back, even bringing local authorities with them. In St. Louis, Missouri, my hometown, a slave named Grover, Glover, escaped his master in St. Louis and tried to get to Canada. He got up north to Wisconsin, where his master found him with local police from St. Louis, crossing state lines, and found him, beat him, and threw him in a local jail. This was a fiercely, fiercely anti-slave state, a fiercely anti-slave community, where men and women were tired of the, con the nonsense, and they literally... They literally went to the jail and literally tore down the walls of the jail and freed him and brought him out. Not only that, they put him on a wagon and took him to freedom. As they went down the road, the local newspaper said five to six thousand citizens up there waving flags and praising him as they took this man to freedom. He made the freedom. But this group of the citizens, these citizens of, who were tired of compromising with Democrats. They were tired of one slave state and one free state. They were tired of giving up on their God-given moral standards. They were tired of it. And these citizens met in a schoolhouse two days later in Whipton, Wisconsin, to form an anti-slave party. And they called themselves the Republican Party. Yeah. That's who you are. Now, Glover made it to, to Canada, but that Fugitive Slave Act in that state was the only state that made that Fugitive Slave Act unconstitutional. And it led to a feeling and a, and, a, and a movement in this country that ended up with the Civil War where 360,000 white men went north to fight their brothers to get, and gave their lives. They died to free strangers. The Republican Party went into battle singing, my eyes are seeing the glory of the coming of the Lord. His truth is marching on. This party is founded on godly principles, and every time we turn to God, we get a victory. Every time we turn to God, we get victories. Yeah. Democrats cannot stand in your way when you're praising God along the way. So I'm here to tell you who you are, remind you who you are. And my organization is proclaiming March is Black Future Month, and I'm going to give a presentation. The first one I found, I'm traveling the whole country, giving this out. Mr. Chairman, where are you? This is a plaque that we're giving to Republican parties from black America, thanking you for ending slavery. I'm going to present it to the, to the chairman here. And what it, what it is, it's, it's two columns. On one column, it says, we owe so much to those who came before us. It is for their struggles and sacrifices we celebrate their victory. From the tears and misery they endured and gained our strength, in honor of all those who struggled and died, in memory of all those who resisted and suffered, for those who lived a life not worth living to preserve life for us. 
we, black America, give thanks to strangers who stood with us and for us, the Republican Party. That's who you are. The, the, second, the second column reads, the Republican Party was founded by men and women tired of living in a country where one man can hold another man captive. It was clear to the Republican Party that no one is free until all of us are free. Black Americans must never forget the sacrifices and justice represented by the Republican Party. We must never allow the nation to forget what they stood for and who they stood against. The Democrat Party. Thank you very much, Chairman. Appreciate it. Thank you, Mr. God bless the Republican Party.